Welcome to week three of our course. My name is Nicole Henderson, and like Dennis and Ashley, I'm a graduate student at the School for the Environment here at UMass Boston. Very briefly, my work focuses on assessing land use influences on water quality in the Neponset River watershed. The first two weeks of the course focused on the natural and human aspects of our coastal environments and how they have changed and evolved. But how can we measure environmental changes and how do we determine if they are healthy? Therefore, this week we will introduce you to a broad topic of coastal environments by visiting the Charles River, Boston Harbor, and Nantucket Island. The main topic of this week will be about coastal watersheds. Here, Dr. Alan Christian will explain the importance of watersheds and how water quality is monitored and assessed within a watershed. Julie Wood from the Charles River Association will introduce us to the Charles River and share what her association does to keep this river and watershed healthy. She'll introduce us to the Charles River Watershed Association's history, research, and issues they face. Julie will also talk about how dams and invasive species continue to influence the Charles. We will also head back to Nantucket where Dr. Boyle will talk about the salt marsh restoration in Madawi Creek and how this restoration has impacted the creek's ecosystem, health, and function. Lastly, in the Boston Harbor, more specifically Savin Hill Cove, Dr. Frankage will talk about the importance of the keystone species we've seen throughout this course, the oyster. She'll discuss how important oyster reefs are for the environment and how restoring them to maintain a healthy ecosystem is also important. The lab for this week will focus on watersheds and topographic maps. Watersheds can be massive areas and are largely important to both humans and the associated ecosystems. Did you know that the watershed for New York City is over 1,900 square miles, found over 100 miles from the city? It supports 9 million people and can deliver about 1.4 billion gallons of water per day. More specifically, for this lab, we will show you how to better read topographic maps and how to use certain features of topographic maps to identify watershed boundaries, a process known as watershed delineation. We look forward to answering your questions and reading your comments to this week's activities. Good luck.